This apartment building is a $500,000 mistake. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I help investors like you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. And the guy I'm working with today, my man, Spiff, you're an investor from California, and you sent this apartment building to me, this 20-unit apartment building listed at $1.299 million dollars advertised with a 7.04 cap rate okay cleveland ohio this sucker is a half a million dollar mistake bro this this deal to be frank it's a turd all right this is a turd and that's why uh before you guys spend your money before you drop 1.3 million dollars you need to do what spiff did and you got to send the property to me for a proper analysis. Now, <clears throat> what we have here, okay, what we have here, let's go over some of the things from the, uh, the listing, okay? We have 20 total units. 17 of them are one-bedroom, one-bathroom units, and three of them are two-bedroom, uh, one-bathroom units, okay? That's a price point of $64,950 per unit. The biggest thing you need to understand, though, is this building only has a 35% occupancy, okay? Now, the fact that it's only 35% occupied, does that mean it's a turd automatically? No. It uh, could be a lot of things. could be uh, the seller doesn't know what they're doing, the landlord is distressed, things of that nature. You could create a lot of really, really good deals out of situations like this, but you have to pay the right price, and the right price is not... 1.3 million dollars okay that would be just pure insanity now a seven cap this building is probably worth a seven cap but to get it at a seven cap you can't pay 1.3 million spiff you'd have to get it for five hundred thousand dollars off you'd have to get it for approximately eight hundred thousand dollars for it to work now if we go through uh, some of the things here. There are some things in this listing that I, I definitely like, but there's also a lot of stuff in here that I definitely disagree with. As far as uh, <clears throat> the rent estimates here, it was in here somewhere. I can't uh, find it off the top of my head. They had... Uh, here it is, right here, okay? They're saying that the comparables, right... Rent comparables reflect an asking rental rate of $775 per one bedroom and $925 for each of the two bedrooms. I, I disagree with that. In, in my experiences, what I think you're looking at here is your 17 one bedroom, one bathroom units. Those have a market rent, in my opinion, of $650 a month. And your three two ones, okay, your three two bedroom, one bath units, I don't think you're getting nine and a quarter for those. I think you're only going to get $750. So I think your maximum monthly rent would be $13,300 or $159,600 for the year. Now, I'm not saying uh, that the sellers or the the listing agent or whatever are, are like lying. I'm not accusing them of that. Uh, I'm just saying I don't agree with their numbers. And who am I? Well, I, I do run the largest scattered site rental property portfolio in the Cleveland market. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't believe either the seller or this listing agent, uh, you know, have those type of credentials, okay? So being a dude who's got thousands of tenants, has managed thousands of apartments in the Cleveland area, I, dude, I don't think it's happening. 775, 925, like, no, nah, that, that's not happening, dude. It's 650 and 750. Look, seller's trying to get money for the building. Listing agent's job is to work for the seller, not for you, right? They're, you know, going to try to make things look as good as they humanly possibly can in like best case scenarios is it possible you may in like a one-off situation rent your units for those prices sure anything is possible but i i never want people to try to rent units for above market because you could do anything one time 
right? But <clears throat> the actually replicable rent is 650 and 750 in my opinion, right? When you start going above that, you're renting to tenants who are willing to pay that amount because they can't rent anywhere else. If they can't rent anywhere else, Spiff, what does that mean? That means they're a shitty tenant, okay? They'll take your place, and you're probably going to end up with a much higher likelihood of evicting them, right? So if we do everything based on my experiences, my numbers, okay, of your $159,600 a year uh, that I anticipate you being scheduled to bring in if you were to uh, get this building up to full occupancy, I believe your fixed and variable expense estimates are going to be around 95k, leaving you with approximately 64 and a half thousand dollars in net operating income. Now, here's the thing, though, too, brother. I think <clears throat> for you to go from 35% occupancy. To 100% occupancy to bring home that NOI of 64 and a half. You're going to have to do some work, right? You have 13 empty units. Now, based upon the listing pictures, right, it appears that some renovations were definitely done to the buildings and, like, the overall building structures appear to be in good shape, okay? And uh, here are some pictures of some units that are presumably occupied now. Uh, but you do have, like, things like this, right? Dated bathrooms, okay? Right. This is a eh, OK kitchen, not a nine hundred twenty five dollar kitchen. That's for damn sure. <laughs> OK. Uh, as far as like what they said about uh, some of the <clears throat> uh, some of the major uh, repairs that have had have been done to this building. Right. Hey, lenders, are you looking for more clients? Send us an email at sales at Holtonwise dot com. Like in 2017, we got a uh, new 20-year warranty roof, new gutters, energy-efficient vinyl windows, new boiler system, electric meters, yada, yada. So I don't think you have to do uh, like an overall building reno, but dude, you got 13 vacant units. There ain't no way that there's just 13 completely rent-ready units just chilling, right? So I would say, because we only have a few pictures here, uh, and just using common sense, it's pretty reasonable to assume each one of those vacant units is going to need some type of work, right? So I'm just going to ballpark it about 10K, right? Because, I mean, even the pictures of those ones that look to be pretty done that they rented, uh, if you're trying to get the 650 and the 750, dude, you can't just go with those, like, old-ass-looking kitchens and uh, bathrooms, right? So I think you need to estimate approximately... $10,000 per unit, right? Which puts you at a renovation budget of 130000 right? So that's why to get to your seven cap, which is what I believe the building is worth, you can only pay eight hundred k for it, right? So you need a $500,000 discount from their asking price of $1.3 for this deal to make sense, right? So if you could accomplish that, which I highly doubt you can, I don't see any scenario uh, where the seller is just like, yeah, dude, spiff, we'll take a half a million dollar haircut. I mean, not everybody that tries to sell their building is realistic to, to, to what their building is actually worth. This could be a situation where it's like, yo, if some fucking idiot wants to give us $1.3 million, great, we'll take it. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably keep it. That's what I would guess is happening here. I don't think they're going to take a half million dollar hit. But if they did, right, if you bought it at $800K, you need to put in the hundred thirty. dollars That'd take you to $930,000. Uh, then you'd get, of course, your sixty-four and a half. NOI I discussed, which would make this building a 7 cap. Now, as far as financing it, if for some crazy-ass reason you convince them to take a half-a-million-dollar discount, which, again, I don't think's happening, bro, uh, there ain't no way you're financing it, bro. As far as, like, commercial financing goes, I don't know what your experience in the game is, but, dude, you have a building that's running with 35% occupancy. It's pretty much pay cash or fuck yourself, right? There is no... Uh, profitable numbers here, right? Lenders are going to base their loan on how much money the building makes. The building in its current state does not make money. The costs of the building currently are more than what the building makes in income. So your only route here is to pay cash. So if you can manage to put together an $800,000 cash offer and then put $930,000 of cash into the deal, that's a reasonable deal. It's a seven cap, nothing fancy, but it, it would work. Uh, but it seems like a total long shot because your seller here, uh, they, you know, they want half a million dollars more. So in my opinion, this whole thing's a turd. 
uh, probably going to be a waste of your time uh, to look into it any further. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.